Kanao by ferry from Okinawa's capital Naha, this is the Kerama Islands National Park. Comprised of three main islands, this is the largest, Tokashiki. In this video, join me as I cycle around this island paradise and discover its stunning beaches, cliffs, and cuisine. Good morning and welcome back to Naha. So today I'm going to take one of those high-speed ferries to Tokashiki Island. I have another full day of adventure planned. This time we'll see some really nice beaches and it'll be much quieter than central Naha. I'm pretty excited, never done anything like this before. All right, time to board. All right, we're starting to move. And I've made it to Tokashiki Island. Well, that ferry ride was fun. Took about an hour. I was really quite surprised at how many people got seasick. I saw quite a few people leaning over the side. Looked like they were gonna throw up, but they didn't. I still have some sea legs, but I think I'll be good. All right, let's walk around and see if I can rent a bicycle. Before I knew what was happening, I got whisked away from the port by the rental agency. They took me on a bus about one minute to here. Cost 20 bucks to rent this set of wheels. I'm very excited, haven't ridden a bike in years. Well, I made quite the fool of myself trying to remember how a bike works, but I think I've got it figured out now. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful here. So quiet, so green. All right, let's cycle around and see if I can find a beach. The phrase, just like riding a bike, does not hold true here. I've already messed up the incline up the hill. So now I'm walking it. <laughs> All right, I pushed it to the top of the hill, and man, would you just look at these views. Incredible stuff. And I've made it to the beach. Wow, that is absolute paradise. I have never seen water that clear, that blue, and nor have I seen sand that white. More than anything, I'm just amazed at how quiet this is. There's only a couple of people here, a few people out paddleboarding over there. Oh my god. This is exactly what I imagined an idyllic island beach looked like. I've never been to one like this before. Words cannot describe how happy this is making me. Well, I truly don't want to leave. This is probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. But hey, there's a whole island to explore. So I'll probably find a beach that's just as beautiful. All right, back to the bike.
Oh man, all those millionaire YouTubers and Twitch streamers who cycle around Japan have top of the line bikes. Certainly not using a rusted six gear rental bike. Oh, just walked up a huge hill. Looks like I'll be able to ride down soon. From here, there's a 400 meter walk to an observatory. I apologize for how sweaty I must look right now. So I've taken a break from pushing that bike up the hill. If we're lucky, we might see some snakes or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. There's something particularly unnerving about hearing all this rustling in the bushes without a single person in sight. If this is how I die, it's by getting bitten by a snake in paradise. Worst ways to go, I suppose. Not merely content with pushing a bike uphill, I'm punishing myself with all these stairs as well. <sighs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, come on, give me a break. Absolutely insane images out here. That walk was totally worth it. You can see all of the islands in the Karama Islands National Park. Oh my goodness. The main ones being Aka Island over there and Zamami Island over there. With the island I'm on, Tokushiki being the biggest out of the three main islands in the National Park. So there's the beach that I just came from and there's the village that I'm going to next. All right, back to the bike. waiting. Flying along now. Woohoo! And I've made it to Aharen village. I think this is where I'll spend a few hours, eat lunch and go for a swim. It is hard holding this and riding a bike at the same time. <laughs> Here's a good spot. Finally, a moment's rest. I spent most of the trip just pushing the bike up the hill, so I'm pretty tired and pretty hungry. So this is another staple of Okinawan cuisine, taco rice. It's essentially a taco on a bed of rice, a fusion of Japanese and American cuisine. And I got mango juice as well. Let's see how that is. Mmm, incredibly sweet, refreshing after that ride. Perfect. Mmm, oh, the salsa's got a nice kick to it. That's the spiciest taco rice I've ever had. Mmm, really hitting the spot considering how hungry I am. Just perfect in such a nice setting too. Yeah, this complements the spiciness really well. Absolutely fantastic. More than hit the spot. All right, I'm gonna leave the bike there and head to the beach. Let's put the old adage you should wait an hour after eating to go swimming to the test. A lot more people here than the last beach as it's a bit more accessible. Still, what an absolutely beautiful day. All right, time for a dip. Truly the best swim of my whole life. Before I get back to the village, there's a geological formation over there I want to check out.
Beautiful scenes. Anyway, looping back to the village now. Get another snack before I hit the road again. Longtime fans of the channel know how much I love my ice cream. This is Blue Seal, one of the signature brands of Okinawa. This ice cream is the Blue Wave flavor, pineapple and soda. Let's see how it is. Mmm, melting so quickly. Mmm. Well, it's a bit sugary, but you can really taste the pineapple. It's got a bit of a fizzy texture that is supposed to replicate the feel of soda. I cannot eat this fast enough. So hot. Yeah, it's a good one. So glad I could finally try Blue Seal ice cream. So many people have recommended it to me over the years. In my top 10 ice creams for sure. Next time I'm renting a moped. Oh, it'll be a while till I get to the top of this hill. Good exercise for me. I am knackered. Two hundred and forty meters to another lookout point. Nice break from pushing the bike up the hill. My calves are on fire, not just from the sunburn. Yet another incredible viewpoint. I am the only person here for miles. I really wish I brought a snack to enjoy here. I'll just enjoy the fresh air and the quiet time. Nice place to rest. Downhill, baby! And uphill again. So I've just returned the rental bike to the rental agency. Oh man, that was a hard day. That last two hours was just alternating of pushing uphill and going full pelt downhill. I could really feel the wind just rushing past me. That was a lot of fun. That was the first time I've ridden a bike in over seven years. I really don't think riding around a remote hilly island on a rusted squeaky school child's bike is a good way to relearn the habit, but I'm still alive. So now I've got about an hour to kill before the ferry goes back. Let's have a look around the village. Can you believe there's a school just over there? Whenever I'm in places like this, I wonder what it would be like to grow up in them. Yeah, can you imagine growing up on a tropical paradise island? Be a very different childhood for sure. Not much to do as I wait for the ferry back, but I did get this Okinawa exclusive guava juice. That's incredible. Wow, I haven't had guava since I was a kid. Sweet things in the tropics just go hand in hand. All right, time to board the ferry. Always sad to say goodbye. What a great day I had. I feel completely reborn like a new person.
Thanks for watching until the end. I really appreciate it. That truly was one of the best experiences I've ever had in Japan. So if you want to visit Tokushiki Island, you have to take the ferry from Naha. A return trip on the ferry cost me less than $50. So if you're going to Okinawa on a budget, this is a perfect way to do it. Renting the bicycle only cost me $20. However, considering how much I had to push the bicycle up the hill, I would recommend renting a moped or a car. You can rent anything you like from Tokashiki Port. So if you enjoyed that video, please be sure to check out my other video that I made here in Okinawa if you haven't already and if you want to see more adventures in Japan please don't forget to like and subscribe so thanks very much for watching I head back to Tokyo tomorrow where I'll be resting up and treating my sunburns I'll see you next time